Hi everyone, my name is Sam and today I'm going to talk about all the things you need to know in order to apply for a PhD in Italian universities. Let's go. As a PhD scholarship winner in one of the universities in Italy, I have real experience about the application process and I am going to keep you informed about that and help you to get through this process. First thing you need to know is that applying for Italian universities is different from other European countries, for example, Germany. And it is also very different from other countries like USA and Canada. In order to apply for a PhD program in the USA or Canada, first thing you have to find the professor. So you go through the website of the university, you find your department, you find the professor, you find what he, he or she is interested in, then you send them emails. And because they don't usually answer their emails, you have to send them reminders. And remember that you shouldn't send them template emails, you should send them a very well written email to catch their interest. However, on the other hand, in Italy, applying for a PhD program is completely different. But how is it different? Now, one of the positive aspects of applying for a PhD in Italy is that you don't need to directly email the professors. Of course, if you can find a professor and you can tell them your interest, it can or it may increase your chances of winning the scholarship. However, remember that the final say is with the committee and your resume and your score will be evaluated by a committee that the professor that you have contacted may or may not be part of that committee. So the final saying is with the university. Now, what is actually the first step? Okay. In Italy, the time for application for universities for the PhD program is very different. Some of them open on February and some of them you can apply as late as summer. So you have to frequently check the website of each university to know and to get informed when the applications are open. So you may ask, Sam, what is exactly the first step? The first step is to check the call. What is the call? When the universities start to accept applicants and applications, they announce a call. A call is something accompanied with a document that tells you everything you need in order to apply for a certain program in a certain university. So in our case, call is everything. For example, this is the call, or as it is called in Italian, bando, for the doctorate, uh, for the doctorate program or the PhD for the year 2022-2023 of University of Milano, Politecnico di Milano. Okay, everything starts from this page. Here you can see the majors that you can apply for. So, for example, if I am an architect. I can apply for this major and you can see accordingly what majors you are able to apply to. For example, if I am an environmental engineer, uh, because I am, you can use or you can select one of these three areas. For example, water science and engineering can be a good match for my expertise. Okay, then we see the bando or when we see the call there are usually some very useful links that you can use one of the most useful links that you can use is the quick start link okay when you use the quick start another document will be installed and you can see that here online quick start an online admission for 2022. Now it is very important because in this document you have all the things you need in order to apply. Remember, you don't actually have to pay any agencies or spend any money in order to apply. 
everything is here so I applied for many universities on my own you can also do the same because everything is written you just have to be patient and read the file carefully look here for example very well this file is 56 pages and it tells you that for example in order to apply the first thing you need to do and guys the first thing you need to do is to create an online account for the universities Creating an online account is actually something that is the same for any university that you are going to apply. And fortunately, many of them have the English option. So if you don't know Italian language, there is no need for you to use the Google Translate to access the page or to understand what it is saying. So you can simply put it in the English version and start the application. Now, when you start to create the profile, you will need to submit something uh, like personal information and etc. But uh, I'm not going to go into the details because it, it is going to take a very long time. Just remember that when you want to apply, you will need to upload some necessary documents. And one of these documents that is very important to upload is your research proposal first sometimes some of the universities require you to submit your master's degree abstract so have that uh, at hand to have them ready and it is very important to read the call carefully because some of the universities have their own template for everything so for example when you are applying for the university of milano it has even the template for the research proposal and first you download the template and then you put all your information in that template do you know that many 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 students that are applying for the phd program lose their chance each year to win the scholarship or I don't know be invited to the interview mainly because they are too lazy I'm sorry to say this to say this word but because they are too lazy to read the call carefully they just think that when it says research proposal they should upload the research proposal that they have written but it is not like this many universities have their own requirements and templates sometimes yes it is just a research proposal but there is a limitation of words that you can use okay so you send the wrong file and solely based on this you are rejected because it is important to show them that you are a careful person that you understand what are the procedures very well after you have uploaded all the necessary files and sometimes in most cases you have to pay a small fee in order to submit your application some universities don't uh, require this fee but many of them do and after you pay the fee you submit your application okay for now everything is done what you need to do is that while you are waiting for the results of one university to be published you have to check frequently other universities as well because you have a long period of applying you have a lot of chances from the north from north italy to the south italy and there are many universities here and you can try your chances in any of them if they have your major very well so you wait for the result and the results are published now what should you do now when the results are published you are very stressed of course you open the PDF file that contains the results it is usually a table with either your application number or with your name and family name and in this table you are first evaluated based on the documents that you have submitted so for example your academic resume your publications your research proposal which is of course very important and which uh, i will do a certain and separate video for it 
definitely because it is one of the most important things that can influence your score now when the results are published for in my case it was based on 70 points so you get a point from 70 okay and from a certain point for example if you get i don't know 55 you will be invited for the interview now one thing that is very very important to pay attention to is that even if you don't get a very good and high point in your first uh, evaluation but you are invited to the interview you shouldn't lose hope so for example imagine that someone has gotten 68 from 70 okay in my case i got 68 from 70 or 69 i don't remember and i was invited to the interview okay the interview has a 30 point now i have had some friends here in another majors they had a similar situation but with a big difference they were invited to the interview but they got much lower score from 70. now the thing is they didn't lose hope and they did so well in the interview that they increased their score and maybe your opponents will do really bad at the interview and they will decrease their score and you can win the place remember that for each university usually there are two or maximum three positions uh, that are subject that are topic free so there are no limitations you can say what you want to study but there are other positions as well that are topic specific it means that they will give you a certain topic to do during your phd and they are usually in collaborations with some companies so you are technically working for a company as well because they demand something and you have to do that very well after the results are released after you get your point from 70 you are either very happy or you are very stressed because all depends on your interview okay you are invited for the interview you do it and you do a very good job and you win the place or lose the place remember that if you win the place for the scholarship uh, the result after the interview because it's a total of 70 plus 30 and you will get a score from 100 and if your score reaches a certain point then you are eligible for getting a scholarship and if you get a scholarship then you will be paid monthly as uh, as someone who is working there at the university and you can live your life almost easily because the, the rents here are uh, expensive of course it depends on which part of italy you are going to study in and when you get the position you have a limited time when you win you have a limited time to accept the offer otherwise you will miss the offer and this offer will be transferred to someone who was just beneath you in the final list okay if you choose to accept the offer remember that you will lose any other possible choices from other universities so for example if you win here and you accept the offer it is very and extremely difficult to change that so for example if you win here you cannot easily say that after one month when another university publishes the result that i want to go to that university and i want to cancel this because you will start your visa process and everything and it would be extremely difficult because the system is very different and when you win just accept be done with it be sure you can participate meanwhile that the results are published in as many interviews as you can there is no conflict of interest there is no problem but once you accept remember that this is your choice and you have to be fine with it okay you accept and 
you hopefully start a PhD here. Now, what are some good points that you can use to improve your score in the first evaluation? What are some good points that you can increase your score for the interview? These are things that require, of course, another series of videos because this is going to be very long if I want to include everything in a single video. Very well, I hope that this video was able to show you the basic procedure of applying for Italian universities in a PhD program. Let's recap. First, you check the university's websites to see if they are open for calls. Okay. Second, download the file of the call and read it very, very carefully. Third, you need to create an online profile on the university's websites and upload your documents. Fourth, remember, please remember to check the requirements of each university before uploading and submitting your application because it can uh, affect your score greatly or maybe cause your rejection. And finally, don't lose hope if at your first evaluation you lose some points. Do your best at the interview. And remember, when you are accepted, you cannot change your choice. Very well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Maybe they want to do a PhD in Italy or maybe they are just curious to see how it is here and like this video subscribe to the channel i also have so many vlogs about my daily life as a phd student that could be interesting to you i hope that i can create useful videos to share a good thing with you very well see you soon